ZUI 10 on our Zug Z2 Plus. So today I'm going to review ZUI 10 on my Zug Z2 Plus, and this is the part one. So now let's talk about the UI design. And so basically, these ROMs are not kind of based on uh, Android stock uh, device, and so the experience while using them will be quite different. So on the left side are uh, like this. Uh, settings where actually you could uh, calculate the distance while going from home to office or office to home and you can actually count the steps by using this you uh, health device you health application but you need a login id so i don't have one now talking about uh, other things like local news and stuff is also available so you need to connect to wi-fi to see that and now let's see what are the news so while you click on it it will actually refresh in uh, so as you can see uh, it will refresh uh, and I'm connected to Wi-Fi so I think so it will take some time oh shit so this is the problem everything here actually appears in Chinese and I really don't know anything about the Chinese language so you know uh, it's kind of not fun to use this uh, no, this ROM because of the on, only one thing because of the problem with the language you actually when you start your ROM uh, as I actually mentioned in the video before it is going to be in Chinese and it's not going to be easy for you to actually convert from Chinese to English uh, easily because you need to go through settings and actually change from there. So now talking about uh, other things uh, here are here are like you know application and the animations as you can see the animations the animation right now is kind of you know actually stretch stretching animation and uh, now the notification panel also looks fine. So there are some other animations which are negligible you won't see them uh, very often. The actually the home screen looks like a um, MIUI and the features are like quite same uh, wallpapers widgets and settings wallpapers you can actually uh, use the wallpapers which are available in the rom from now there, there are some good wallpapers and these are the some dynamic or as you can say live wallpapers they look quite nice now talking about something else here is you know the daily wallpaper update what happens here is when you click on it and you enable it there will be a daily updates while actually you know lo you lock your smartphone and then you enable it uh, the thing is uh, there will be around five to six or some other more than uh, 10 wallpapers which will appear one after another and it will continue every single day and this was the this feature is the hd wallpaper so the wallpaper which uh, will look and uh, quite good and the colors will be quite different you know they it will be a bit of vivid not talking about the stuff like uh, with uh, the widgets so these are the widgets which are available in the room from uh, default and uh, as they are actually available in every single room the main thing about this is uh, they, as you can say as you can see you can actually add any other application or the widgets available for it uh, on the home screen and uh, the home screen and the uh, you know the tray it is the same because there is no actually you know tray the home screen uh, is where the applications are you can actually add, add any widgets you want and uh, you need to actually zoom out or zoom out to go to settings on settings there are two things available one to enable disable the left uh, left screen option which are where you can see the news and uh, other stuff uh, customizations which were available available and now as you can see that it is not available now zoom out okay uh, this is some different thing to do around now as you can see you can actually change the layout of the applications which are on your home screen so now it was before the layout was 5 into 5 now i have actually changed it into 5 to 6 so 5 in the row and 6 in the column so now it will look a bit of more uh, subtle and uh, kind of small icons icons will be quite of quite small and uh, actually they will look a bit uh, near each other uh, before so you can actually enable the 4 into 5 options also so it is kind of depends on your choice of which, which you want to use so actually i'm going to enable the left screen option because it looks quite nice though you won't be able to understand anything because it will be in chinese so it's kind of fun to see how does it goes while using a ROM which is actually based on uh, based for any smartphone like uh, Lenovo Z5 and Pro and actually we are, I'm using it on my Zoom Z2 Plus so, so it is thanks to the developers which enable uh, which actually customized it and uh, made it uh, portable uh, for us to use it and for me to review it so as you can see the notification panel is the same so it doesn't look my, quite different uh, the NFC feature right here is not available so don't get it it's a kind of gimmick because they were the developers didn't actually exclude the options of NFCs and so it's quite, it's quite uh, different so
so there are some features available in this chrome uh, which will not be available because of the hardware limitations like the nfc uh, like nfc and some other applications which won't work on your smartphone because your smartphone doesn't contain that sensor or that feature uh, due to your hardware limitations so you can actually add any of the icons which are available on the in the notification panel using this one so as you can see these are the available now you when you click on sort you can actually sort the layout you can actually change the placings uh, of the icons so you can actually uh, place the icons like you know hotspot or other things like okay so we are going to select uh, auto rotation and uh, place it in okay so it was so actually it uh, was placed in front of screenshot so now i just actually replace the screenshot with flashlight now it will appear now you need to click on finish and uh, uh, okay so now you click on finish and as you can see the uh, auto rotation and the screenshot are actually available uh, right up there and other, and other icons are also available you can actually uh, use any of them uh, as you want so it's kind of fun to see how does the new rom uh, looks like and the ui design because i have been using the stock roms which are based on android pi and uh, the features uh, were different but uh, looks uh, on the uh, and the looks on the all of the custom roms was same it wasn't much difference and uh, when you use uh, other roms like miui zui flyme os and emui the feel is quite different though it may not suit you but the feel is quite different because you are not using the same rom or the other roms uh, which uh, were quite same when you talk about aos ip aes bootleggers the features may be different a bit of icons uh, difference may be there but uh, the overall uh, overview is overview is same so actually i'm going to select uh, i'm going to show you actually you can select the weather it's fine the function works uh, perfectly fine so you can actually select the any weather you want to uh, but uh, i don't know uh, can i select uh, water from this one so let's see okay so add button and uh, let's see if i can select my hometown okay so it is it is, it is there it is there and oh, it dis it disappeared so let's see if i can select and yes so as you can see yeah okay so 32 degree uh, fine uh climate is haze okay fine so you can see uh so how how do you select this one as default okay click on this one go there and uh, swipe it up or down okay so when you swipe it up or down actually the, uh, it will become the default one so now as you can see Godra is the default uh, climate weather which uh, you will be able to see you can actually select any of those uh, the, which you see seem to have or would like to have on your home screen and so as you can see these are the features which were available on the home why it's quite good it's quite good nothing bad now when you actually click on any of the applications you want to uninstall you will see a cross mark on it but see the main thing main thing about this rom is when you click uh, on a specific uh, point you will be able to use the functions like if you want to actually uninstall uh, an application you need to click on the left upper side of the application and then you will be able to actually uh, disable actually and un un uninstall it well, as you can see there are some other features like you know sliding mechanism uh, it's kind of a software improvement uh, you can actually slide on the dots and you can actually slide through the uh, other applications which are not on your on a single slide and it's kind of function fun, the function uh, of using this slide is uh, not that, that much useful but it, it is quite of quite of fun to go through this thing and uh, as i said before if you click uh, on something uh, you know like the main thing about this room which i don't like actually is when you click on a specific point you will be able to use functions now when you click on the name of the application it won't start now you need to click on the icon and it will start after that you click on the upper left side of the uh, icon uh, you can you will be able to uninstall it so there are some few points you need to understand that while using a phone you need to remember that now talking about the calling call quality geo works fine nothing bad you won't actually uh, have any uh, network issues video calling audio calling both works well and so geo OTE works well nothing bad about that now talking about the fingerprint scanner scanner works well now click on it and it opens so you can actually work well the recording uh, even scanning it was scanning the fingerprint scanner it was fine recording it was fine 
using it upside down and it's fine as you can see it's not that fast but uh, you can use it normally and you won't actually uh, face any issues while using it so you don't need to worry about that now talking about the camera application so you can actually take photos the optical zoom one is actually a kind of gimmick so it, it uses a single lens but you won't actually get any optical zoom now you as you can see you there are like there there are likely major bugs in this camera application you won't be able to use most of the options available in this uh, application pro mode blur dual photo video you won't you won't be able to use any of that as you can see the only option that works right now is the uh, the dual optical zoom and that's 2x optical zoom and that's all like if you switch to dual as you can see you it will force stop as you can see now if you even you switch to video it won't work like you won't be able to record a video now so that's the reason i actually installed google camera application in the smartphone and uh, it works well uh, the, the link will be in the description below if you want to download this one the photo sphere night slow motion night mode photo boot and night sight everything works well the video audio you can actually record a uh, video at 4k uh, 30 fps so you don't need to worry about that the night sight as i said before works well so it is kind of, kind of uh, a great thing that at least ZUI 10 uh, actually is able to support Google Camera port uh, which is based on Pixel 3 or Pixel 2. So there, uh, there were some other ports which I actually tried on this ROM and I wasn't uh, able to use them because they were force stopping the whole system or they were hitting my phone uh, abnormally. So this was the only port which was fun to watch and use. So I am going to make this video in two parts. The first one will contain this, uh, which contains home UI design, the call quality, camera, and the second part that will contain end-to-end benchmark, gaming performance, day-to-day -day performance, and what are the bugs, how is the battery life, and the final word for the sta stability of the ROM. That can you use it in your day-to-day -day life or not? So do wait for that part. And that's it for this review. So do subscribe and hit that bell icon for new videos and do comment down below which type of videos do you want to watch next and thank you for watching.